Hey guys, I'm back and I'm bringing you the second video of the day. The most requested recipe that I've gotten so far. The buttercream recipe. I think you guys will like this one. It's really easy. It's creamy. It's not too sweet. And most importantly, it is beginner friendly. I will drop the recipe details in the description box. And at the end, I'll give you guys a few troubleshooting tips. All right, I'll be back later. Let's do a little troubleshooting here. As you can see, once it was done mixing, I took it off the stand and did a few folds in and a little wave. The wave is to pop any air bubbles that may be in there. There weren't a lot because when I mix my buttercream, I keep it on low. 
Um, if you have a KitchenAid stand mixer, that's between a two and a four. I don't go any faster than that. That way, my buttercream is as clear of air bubbles as possible. Another thing that you want to look for are lumps of powdered sugar. If you have any clumps of powdered sugar or any just scatterings of powdered sugar in your bowl, that's because you didn't scrape your bowl down enough. When you scrape your bowl down, be sure to get all the way down to the bottom because your paddle doesn't. Scrape down there too and then turn your mixer back on for a few more minutes and check it again. Be sure not to over mix. It happens. Um, when you're mixing your butter, mix it until it's smooth and creamy, light and fluffy. And then start to add in your powdered sugar. Um, if it tastes gritty, it may be because you used a little too much powdered sugar. If it is too stiff, then you might want to add a little bit of milk, some water, or even um, heavy cream. I use heavy whipping cream. I use a teaspoon to a tablespoon at a time. That works good to, to soften it up. One last thing, if you notice it's too sweet, add a dash of salt to cut the sweet. Alright guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until the next one guys, love and blessings. Look at that little sprinkle. <laughs>